where we're double the hosts, double the topics, and double the fun. I'm Dan. I'm Sarah. I'm Charity. And I'm Alan. And today, you can call... <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to start with the Donald Trump impression at first. No. <laughs> That's where you were going. <laughs> but it would be great. It's the greatest. <laughs> Are you all done? <laughs> because today, you can call me Nostradamus. Oh! Because we are talking about predictions. Oh, Not just good. our predictions, though. <laughs> we're talking about past people's predictions. Okay. So we can laugh at them for how wrong they were. Uh-oh. <laughs> so everybody has a list of a few predictions. Yes. And uh, does anybody have any one that you think is particularly funny to laugh at? I want to laugh at these old people. I want to laugh at these old people. I have one we could probably have a nice little chuckle. All right. All right. So Charles P. Steinmetz predicting 2023 back in 1923. All right. And old Charles says. What did old Charles know back in 23? Chucky. He (laughs) says a time is coming where there will be no long drudgery and that people will toil not more than four hours a day owing to the work of electricity. Oof, that so sounds like wishful thinking. a four-hour yeah. workday. <laughs> four-hour workday, yeah. 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 And then he wrote Animal Farm. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Changed his name. Yeah. Oh, how wrong they, he was. <laughs> Old Chucky. <laughs> Chucky, you were wrong, man. I will say, though, I mean, I, the, the work dynamic has changed. I mean, not enough to do a four-hour workday. But like maybe because things are more virtual now and stuff, you know, I mean, I guess the days are more flexible. I guess it depends on people's occupation. I know? mean, maybe not necessarily a four hour work day, but like every time we have a three day weekend, like, you know, Labor Day or something, and we come back and like we still get work done with the days are left. I'm like, we could do a three day weekend. Like we can make this a regular make this, thing. Yeah. Yeah. For it. Just take Mondays off. We probably have done this, but the the way that that we work or that the economy works isn't, hey, here's 40 people that can only do four uh, hours of work a day yeah. and then enjoy the rest of the day. It's let's lay 20 people off and then we'll do 20 people and then, and then do eight work. hours and get the same amount of work mm-hmm. done and then save all the money that we've spent on the other 20 workers. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about all y'all. I work from home. I work four hour work days. Yeah. So. No. <laughs> I call them eight, but I work four. <laughs> Hot Mike. Hot Mike. Just, just kidding. Just Not kidding. that Dan's boss is no. listening. Trust but... me. If my boss is listening, they're getting ready to see my timesheet for the last week, and they'll know that's not true. Yeah. You're like, man, yeah. damn me, $8 million last year. <laughs> what a guy. Well, Steinmetz was making lots of predictions because he also made one in 1922, a year earlier, oh. about the year. 2022 uh-huh. and in this prediction he said that all of the domestic and industrial work of the city all locomotion and transportation will sometime be done by electricity and that in a not very distant future fires and combustion will altogether be forbidden by law within the city limits and dangerous and unsanitary so they were mm-hmm. close well yeah really yeah. off on the end bar <laughs> yeah because everybody loves fire yeah well, and, and uh, I mean, uh, and, until something <laughs> actually combusts. Well, and, we, and I mean, arsons. coming off, of, let's yeah. say, 1922, that prediction were f- less than two decades um, back from the 1906 earthquake and, and mm-hmm. destruction of San Francisco. And, and the problem is just with the fire prevention theories at the time were absolutely atrocious. I mean, we've yeah. uh, the technologies that we have and our understanding of how to space out um, domiciles, mm-hmm. you know, is is much better than it once was in urban city. Well, yeah. they didn't have like sprinkler systems installed within the building that, no. you know, do you know how? Do you know why stuff? San Francisco burned to the ground? to stop a fire how okay you have you have apartment buildings in one block city mm-hmm. block that are on fire how do you stop that from getting to the next block mm. Ooh. Well, uh, well again, the only s- for a dad joke. No, yeah, this isn't a dad. This, an actual this, no, this, this is another dad thing, which is history. Okay. And so, the, <laughs> well, in that case, I'm a father. And didn't fire know prevention <laughs> at the time was to set dynamite explosives on the next block, blow it to bits, so that the fire wouldn't go in that direction. So connect. The mm. problem is, 
you've just set an explosion and you're now spreading the fire. Yeah. You're fighting fire with fire. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> yeah. Literally. And so, thought that was a good idea. Well, we've, uh, we've been doing it for a while because you're right. We do fight fire with fire. We set prevention and we do control burns mm. to make sure that we don't have terrible wildfires. But anyway. <laughs> a little bit of history. Wow. But the first part of that prediction was pretty accurate because yeah. we we're making a big movement into electronic. Well, not uh, only that, uh, the, the idea that you cannot just burn things whenever you want to anymore. You have to uh, contact the county and make mm-hmm. sure that the fire ban's been lifted. Thanks, Obama. Like, <laughs> <laughs> In 1922. <laughs> so ahead of their time. If I want to start a fire, I'm going to start a fire. It's America. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Home of the flames. I will start a fire. Oh, nice. And call my insurance and tell them I don't know what happened. (laughs) Shit. So somehow the fork made its way into the socket. That's right. We have no idea how this started. That's right. (laughs) Who knew you couldn't put a pot in a microwave? I didn't. Surprise. Spoiler alert. You can't. Oh, boy. All right. So I got one that is just, I'll let you decide for yourself. French writer, and I'm assuming this is pronounced Rabida. I presume so. Yeah, you, um, you got to add some punch to it. Though. I know, I know, but I, 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 I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to offend all of our French <laughs> listeners. Hold on, I got to get Sorry, my cigarette out. Yeah, here, yeah, yeah. Rabida. <laughs> <laughs> uh, predicted this uh, in 1923 for 2023. Okay. The possibility of the transportation of humans by 2023 mm. would be a device that could scan a person's body, disintegrate it. And recreate it in a new location. Mm. Oh, yeah! Kind of, kind of, I love those Star theories. Trek, Star Trek, yeah. yeah. Which, which of course opens up the possibility of: Are you the same person that arrived? That's right. So that's like in Willy Wonka when he was doing the mic TV and he yeah. had the oh, particles yeah. in the air and then yeah. put them in the computer. That's right. Yeah. Um, very wrong though. No, no yeah. <laughs> no. That's, that, but that's the thing. It's it's a low resolution possibility of what yeah. it could look like and how it could be achieved because they're doing things now with free frequency manipulations right. mm-hmm. that are just oh my gosh <laughs> yeah right now they haven't done it with humans yet but they've done it with objects or at least something similar right? well, yeah the more that we start to understand subatomic uh subatomic quantum theory and mechanics the more the possibilities are like uh, we could probably do this mm-hmm. well I, well I think it's crazy is we like i read i read that and everybody's first thought is like star trek right like yeah. the, trailer, the teleporter sure. from star trek yeah. but 1923 yeah. what was the frame of reference for this of just like you could disappear mm-hmm. one place and reappear in another but not specifically that like well, disintegrate yourself yeah. in one place i'm kind of curious reconstitute yourself well, there's, in another there's, place. there's been crazy. stories like that all over i think in jude thomas uh was uh, translated from one city to the next. And I mean, you, you have it in different mythologies in different cultures all over, but just how, how's it done? I yeah. mean, that's, that's yeah. the thing that was like, how, do, how does it happen? But it's always at the whim of an agency that is supernatural or beyond, right. you know, yeah. not, not something that the person themselves could control, which is where we're starting to move to, which is kind of yeah. exciting. I, I, kinda, I, I mean, kinda, we can transmit yeah. Pictures from place to place. Yeah. Right. Motion pictures from place mm-hmm. to place. Well, in I... this case, the French was wrong. Because <laughs> we're still walking everywhere. <laughs> Actually, that's true. I, I, I was wondering, because this was still, you know, early film and stuff. So they obviously probably watched stuff like Trip to the Moon and stuff like that. So, you know, very surrealistic, but sure. enough to think about. You know, maybe that could. We were starting here on Earth, and then we can transport to another planet by just a push of a button, or yeah, some kind of machine that can <laughs> essentially, yeah, like bring us into another medium and then do, you mm-hmm. know. So it, it, it sounds. It, I don't. Know, sometimes when I read that, I'm like, I'm sure that they were ridiculed when they first said it. They're like, you're ridiculous. But then again, we're looking at it a hundred years later. We're like, that's actually I, not. That's not too far. I think we are farther advanced in technology than what we know, but mm-hmm. they're not going to introduce us to that stuff because it'll freak people out, or maybe it's you know illegal or something. Yeah. So like, because this is my theory, because we're I would seeing like a to lot be of transported like transported into the bank vault <laughs> and then out. <laughs> well, we're, well, we're seeing a lot. Two thousand dollars are gone. <laughs> we're seeing a lot of like different AI things and stuff, and people uh-huh. are mm-hmm. slowly introducing it to things you know with social media and like 
different forms of technology to the point where we're becoming okay with it and we're like oh, okay it's this, commonplace yeah now. this can help us do blah 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 which is what they want us to believe so that way when they introduce like the big stuff we've already grown accustomed we're, to yeah, it we're not i think you're closer on the yeah. other way which is with um virtual reality it will become so natural to be a part of kind of like ready player one style where that is something you, that they're talking about you yeah. are transported but it's all digitally but it's it, it, it becomes um it once you put on a VR headset and you become 100% immersed in it, yeah. it, it becomes no different than your physical body actually transporting itself. But I mean, even with that type of stuff, we're okay with it. So that way the people who want to do the bad things with technology, right. we're not going to fight them for it. We're right. Just and like, oh, it's, the it's difference normal. right now is because it's not real. There will come a time where the, where the confusion between what is real yeah. and isn't doesn't matter. I yeah, think. yeah, because like, mm-hmm. I think one of the things that they're wanting is that they want the virtual reality essentially be more realistic than what we're living in now. It'll have which to the be. concept of that sounds like, but I, again, it doesn't sound we're kind of already halfway there. Yeah. Whoa! Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is my my VR headset right now. I can't get the controller to work, so I put it on. And I'm just like <laughs> trying to grab stuff, and it's not working. So. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not there yet. Not there yet. They can't not take yet. over the world yeah. yet. Obviously, the future isn't ready for Dan yet. It's just, <laughs> yeah. just the right controller, though. Yeah. <laughs> Left one works fine. Okay, so I have one. Um, this one is a guy named W.L. George um, in 1922, predicting 2022. Uh, he quoted saying, uh, People of the year 2022 will probably never see a wire outlined against the sky. It is practically certain that wireless telegraphy and wireless telephones will have crushed a cable system long before the century is done. Yeah. Mm. So he predicted we were going to go wireless even before the 1900s ended. Which, yeah. I mean, wires know. are still seen. But yeah, we're pretty yeah, but much I mean, wireless for the most part. I mean, the fact that we're not using a phone with like the coils, we're actually holding a phone. I mean, that counts as wireless. I mean, we use AirPods and all that. So I mean, smart watches. Smart, you know. So there are things that I mean, even the fact of like sending a telegram or a wire that was still a big deal, and we're sending emails. So you know, maybe they didn't weren't sure how to how to say it, but mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. he he was pretty spot on at least in that aspect. Pretty close, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. 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 So. Old W. Old George had a few good things to say, though, and he was pretty on the money because in 1922, he said in 2022 or for 2022 that the movies will be more attractive. Mm. That is, the figures on the screen will not only move, but they will have their natural colors and will speak with the ordinary voices. Mm. There you go. So, yeah, that, 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 George he boy. Won. Yeah, yeah. So far he's, he won. he's pretty good so yeah. far. Yeah. yeah, better than the French. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, France. Sorry, France. <laughs> yeah, well, let's switch over to England, <laughs> where a physicist named Archibald M. Lowe predicted in 1923 about 2023, in 100 years' time, he will be able to chat in comfort over a telephone that can be used in his car, his house, or his train. Lowe noted, mm. he will not only hear a squeaky voice saying what in every few minutes, Probably it will be possible for him to see the person to whom he is talking. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Some forward thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have seen it. There's some old footage from like the 20s and stuff thing and they were talking about this thing that might happen in the future and it had these flappers and they had these big purses and they had the candlestick phones and they were pulling it out of their purses talking on the phone putting the phone back into their purses and so enough for them to realize that Telephones will be mobile now. Yeah, they, yeah, obviously, yeah. they didn't get the, the shape right, but yeah. it's just the fact that you can put a phone in your purse, right? Which was a pretty, you know, they're like, wow, really? You don't just mount it on the wall? Or my favorite phone <laughs> forever will be Derek Zoolander's little tiny cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> that will, that's my. That's the best phone that's ever ever been thought of. <laughs> that's tr- oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, I wonder. I do think about just because things are getting smaller and smaller, sure. almost microscopic. As fun, I mean, that's not again. It's not far fetched. It was definitely used as a gag, but well, now um, what's popular isn't even uh, receiver and transmitter. It's using frequencies in the bones themselves. The um, I forget what they're called, but they I see them around all the time. The wraparounds, the ears, mm-hmm. mm, yeah, and um, they're they're is no microphone on it. Right. It's just taking the 
vibrations through the jaw. Right. Oh. And and translating yeah. that into audible sound. It's the same thing with like it vibrates on top of the ear and instead it vibrates of inside in instead order of to like in. hear it. Yeah. Because they have these glasses that I've seen that like you put them on and you hook it up to like a PlayStation or a Switch or like a Steam Deck or something like that. And then it projects a screen oh, and like augmented reality mm-hmm. in front of you. I've and then it's those. got the, you know, sound or whatever through the thing. And I'm like, that's, yeah. that's neat. I kind of prefer that over having like the big goggles. I figure eventually they are probably going to be just like regular specs. And they'll do the same thing. We just don't have to have something big. And well, that's presuming that we even want something to put on. It might not even be put on. It'd be that's a true. Chip implanted into your brain. It wouldn't it's even be in your eye. brain. Yeah. It would just be on the behind the lens of your retina or something right. like that. Yeah. <laughs> Jared, you got one more for us? Yeah, I got one more. So we were talking about W.L. George earlier. <laughs> oh, um, Georgie so, boy. Yes, Georgie. Georgie boy has come back. Uh, so in 1922, he was predicting this for 2022. Um, this one kind of made me laugh. Most fit women will be following an individual career. All positions will be open to them, and a great many women will have risen high. I just thought it was funny he said fit women. Yeah, with we, with the exception <laughs> of that, Georgie Boyce again, pretty spot on. I mean, no, he was great. Yeah. But it's just like, well, if you are not fit, yeah. you're just gonna be <laughs> a slob at home. So yeah. amounting to nothing. So actually, in conjunction with that, I couldn't find the exact source, but one of the newspaper clips that I was looking was saying, I think it was partly satire, but they were like, eventually women are going to wear pants <laughs> and they're going to shave their heads and they're going to black out their teeth. <laughs> and black out their teeth? Why? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> they're like, women they're like, can't have teeth. <laughs> <laughs> they're like women well, are going to shave their heads. Guys are going to have curl. We're going to wear curls in their hair, and, and yeah, that was. I think it was partly satire, but it was probably partly like, yeah, that'll be the day, uh-huh. you know. So some toothless bald women <laughs> and some long curly haired men. Toothless bald women <laughs> and like high corridors of power. I don't know. <laughs> it's funny because I guess if a man thinks a woman's going to be in power, she can only do it with no hair and no teeth, <laughs> <laughs> like a man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She can only be, she can only be scared of the woman. Oh, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. <laughs> so sorry. I'll get right on that. <laughs> so, but I mean, they were spot on talking about that women will prefer pants to dresses. So they at least got that part right. Yeah, but the blacking of the teeth and the bald, the baldiness side. You know, that that part I didn't. Get. I mean, I will say, I, especially for some of the jobs back then, like having long hair, it might have gotten in the way of doing some sort of job. So I get mm. that. You know, you might have cut your hair. But going completely bald, that is a bit... Um, that's, a bit that, that, that's a bit much. And the, the teeth is just future. ridiculous. Future. <laughs> Speaking of the future, let's end this with a lightning round. Your okay. prediction for the future, go. Ooh. Prediction for the future? Um, for 100 years from now? Just any time. Just Ooh. any prediction yeah, that you have for the future. Years. 100 years from now. Okay, 100 years. I think 100 years from now, uh, we won't do anything. I think I, I think I think we I will think, we will celebrate, celebrate nothing, nothing day. day. Nothing oh, day. Yes. January <laughs> paradise. <laughs> so yeah, well, we won't do too much because I think everything will be either automated or or we can do some kind of mind. You know, we can we can mentally be so able be to like do stuff. So it'll be like the Jetsons lifestyle. Yeah, Jetsons are still more advanced mm. than we are. And that was the nineteen sixties. We need to get with the program because I want my flying <laughs> car. You, yeah, little bubble cars. <laughs> <laughs> that's true yeah because that way you can be able you can basically you just don't you think it and it happens mm. and i feel like everything is just going to be done mentally so thought technology to allow us to do nothing <laughs> i dig it that, I, that's, oh. just, that's just pros and cons Charity, <laughs> prediction um i kind of already hinted at it but it's sort of like the how do you cook a lobster where you slowly turn the heat up you know mm. i think there's more bad things on the way but because we're getting used to it and we're not really fighting it it's just bad things are happening and you, you so apocalypse, kind of so it. future. Uh, yeah, here they I mean, get a prediction. That, All right, it's kind of already happening. So, <laughs> yeah. so the future, not the future's not, not so bright. Future but doing question nothing. mark? Yeah. Maybe, maybe who knows? The world. Will Sorry, end. kids that are listening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can you do can anything. Be anything you can. You can be anything within the margins that might happen within your lifetime, or possibly <laughs> not. <so. laughs> you can do anything when it comes to your survival. That's All right. right. <laughs> Alan, bring us up from uh, the downer of the apocalypse. Yeah, uh, yeah I, don't, I don't. It's not apocalyptic, but I, I think in a hundred years we'll be interstellar. Okay, all right, yeah. interstellar. I'm looking, forward, I'm looking nice. forward to that. Yeah. I want to have planet Sarah. <laughs> <It won't, laughs> yeah, okay, Sarah's going Elon Musk yeah. on this. 
<laughs> not, not like not like fantasy interstellar. I'm talking about like. I don't uh, think we could actually do it. <laughs> to get to get planet. you a planet. Sarah wants a whole planet. You have, we, we have galaxies, we, man. We can't get you there in 100 years, so that's the problem. <laughs> we would have to cryogenically freeze you. Oh, okay, so me and Walt Disney, we'll, we'll, have, a, we'll have our own planet. <laughs> so that'd we'll be just, Disney yeah. World to become the Emperor from Dune. Planet, so. <laughs> control the you galaxy. you got to stay within our solar system. We can't, we can't go. <laughs> why are you putting rules okay, fine, on yeah, it? Why are you putting your rules on it? It's a prediction. Okay, so okay. Fine, okay. Fine, Europa. I'll take Europa. <laughs> Thank you. Don't tell no. what you can't. You can do anything. You can black out Very your good. teeth. You can shave That's your right. head. You can have your you own have planet. your own planet. <laughs> okay, so. you're right. All right, sorry. What about you, Dan? What I, you I, I'm Take saying, you forget out. trains. Forget uh, teleportation, pneumatic tubes, like in Futurama. Uh, yes, that's, that's, right. Right. that's the future. Uh, well, well, like, like, oh, like, like at the bank. Yeah, like, suck exactly. Your exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's like Augustus Gloop, but that's you have right. to be a fit woman to be able to <laughs> yeah. go up there. That's why you have. That's why you have to be bald so your hair doesn't get caught. <laughs> you got black out your teeth because you're gonna get knocked out. <laughs> 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 you're gonna be banging around the tube. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You forget your mouth guard, you're in trouble. <laughs> well, this has been the Prediction Hour with Nostradamus and friends. Thank you all for listening. And uh, Sarah will tell us where you can find other oh future God. predictions. That's true. Well, in the present, you can listen to us on DoubleStuffPod.com. Who knows what the future holds? Two, 200 episodes? Uh, <laughs> so you can binge listen to us yeah, on the website, of course. We're available on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Double Stuff Podcast, And, of course, on Twitter X at Double Stuff P. And that's the letter P. Or is it? Who knows what the future is? <laughs> future. Future. What are even letters? <laughs>